Good morning. This video lecture is for class 7th subject English. This lesson has been taken from your textbook Honeycomb and this is lesson number 9, a bicycle in good repair. This is lecture 1. We are going to complete the entire chapter or the entire lesson in this one video lecture only. So quickly let's get into the contents of the video lecture. Moving next. The contents that I am going to cover in this video lecture are introduction, introduction of the lesson a bicycle in good repair, then explanation of the text, summary of the story, followed by new words and the meanings, classwork, the classwork questions we are going to discuss in the class, and followed by homework it's mandatory to do the homework okay with the name of the chapter a bicycle and good repair you people can understand what the story is all about the story is about a bicycle good repair means a bicycle which needs a repair okay you understand what repairing a bicycle means getting it okay to ride it on the road so i'll quickly give you an introduction of the lesson if you wish to go on a long bicycle ride the bicycle should be in good condition if possible an expert mechanic should overhaul it but what happens if the machine has a will of its own and the mechanic knows next to nothing so can you imagine the situation that you are going on a long bicycle ride you're going for some kilometers five kilometers 10 kilometers and the bicycle should be surely in a good condition when you have to go for a long bicycle ride if possible an expert mechanic should overhaul it overhaul means to look at something very carefully for example your bicycle has went wrong and there's an expert mechanic he should look at everything very carefully but what happens if the mechanic has a will of its own that means the mechanic does the things on its own and the mechanic knows next to nothing although he claims to be a good mechanic but the mechanic himself knows next to nothing about the bicycle so let's see if the mechanic doesn't know then whose help are we going to seek to do a correction in the bicycle right so that's what they are seeing here now let's see what's going to happen they have left a question mark for us to read further and understand better so let's quickly move to the first paragraph of the lesson a bicycle in good repair Okay, so now we are going to start the lesson, A Bicycle in Good Repair. The story is really very interesting. And I hope that you people have not met any kind of man which we have talked about in the story. So let's quickly start. A man I knew proposed one evening. We should go for a long bicycle ride together on the following day. And I agreed. I got up early for me, I made an effort and was pleased with myself. He came half an hour late, I was waiting for him in the garden. It was a lovely day, he said, that's a good looking machine of yours. How does it run? Oh, like most of them, I answered, easily enough in the morning goes a little stiffly after lunch he caught hold of it by the front wheel and therefore and shook it violently i said don't do that you'll hurt it i did not see why he should shake it it had not done anything to him besides if it wanted shaking I was the proper person to shake it. So now here the author, he met a man one day and he proposed means he kept a proposal in front of him. 
telling him to go for a bicycle ride together on the on that very day and the author was all ready he got up early in the morning he made an effort for himself and he was all ready to go for a bicycle ride he waited for that man that morning and that man came an hour late he was waiting there and uh, the man came and he said wow what a good looking machine of yours that machine is the bicycle here and he was asking how does it run so the author said normally as usually normal the cycles bicycle run mine also run the same way he said it's easy in the morning but it lets get it gets little stiff after lunch and uh, then what happened that man caught hold of the wheel of the bicycle the front wheel wheel of the bicycle and shook it violently shook it violently means shook it with great force so the author said that don't do that you'll hurt it means that you'll hurt the bicycle and he was thinking that i don't think so that there is any reason to shake the bicycle and if there is any reason then the author is the right person to shake it so basically the man and the author they both were going for a good bicycle ride early in the morning and the man came he started shaking his bicycle and he had caught hold of the front wheel now let's see what happens in the next paragraph of the story i felt much as i should had he started whacking my dog he said this front wheel wobbles i said it doesn't if you don't wobble it it didn't wobble as a matter of fact nothing worth calling a wobble he said this is dangerous have you got a hammer i ought to have been firm but i thought that perhaps he really did know something about the business i went to the tool shed to see what i could find when i came back he was sitting on the ground with the front wheel between his legs he was playing with it twiddling it round between his fingers the remain uh, the remnant of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside him he said it looks to me as if the bearings were all wrong i said don't you trouble about it any more you will make yourself tired so now basically what is he saying here that first he said that uh, he started touching the bicycle he started you know pulling the handle and everything of the bicycle then further what happened he started whacking his dog whacking means beating his dog so the man who had come there and who had given a proposal to go for a bicycle right he came there and he started touching the bicycle he started you know shaking the bicycle very badly and then uh, later on he was whacking the author's dog he was beating the author's dog and then he said that this front wheel wobbles that means the front wheel is moving unsteadily is not moving correctly it is moving from side to side he said it doesn't so the author said it doesn't wobble until unless you shake it so badly as a matter of fact so then he said the man said that do you have a hammer then the author said uh, i have a hammer i need to go to the tool shed tool shed is a place where all the tools are kept and the author said that uh, he is so confident i think he knows something about this business this mechanic business of putting the bicycle together so he said he went to the tool shed he was looking there for the hammer which the man had asked and when he came back he was sitting on the ground with what he was sitting with the front wheel of the bicycle between his legs so that means he had taken out the front wheel from the portion of the bicycle and he was playing with it twiddling it around his fingers means moving it around his fingers and the remnant of the machine remnant means remaining part of the machine was lying on the gravel path was lying on the path you can say a footpath you can call it beside him and it looks and he said that it looks that if all the bearings were wrong bearings is the screws here 
the small screws which are there he said i think all the screws were put wrong and then the author said don't you trouble about it anymore don't you uh, you know take out more parts of the bicycle because if you are going to do so you will feel your make yourself feel tired so this is what the author said so first he started playing with the bicycle you know shaking the bicycle very badly then he started whacking his dog beating his dog then he took out the wheel of the bicycle and then he had you know the remaining part was lying somewhere else and uh, he was having the front wheel between his legs and uh, all the bearings were scattered here and there so basically the bicycle or the machine was in a very bad condition earlier before in the morning it was absolutely correct but as soon as the man came he had just you know dismantled the entire bicycle now let's see what happens in the next part i whether they are able to go for the bicycle ride or not so let's see what happens next with the machine moving next let us put it back and get off so now the author is saying let us put all the pa uh, parts back and get off for the ride he said we may as well see what is the matter with it now it is out he talked as though it had dropped out by accident before i could stop him he had unscrewed something somewhere and out rolled all over the path some dozen or so little balls catch him he shouted catch him we must not lose any of them he was quite excited about them we groveled round for half an hour and found 16 he said he hoped we had got them all because if not it would make a serious difference to the machine i put them for safety in my hat it was not a sensible thing to do i admit so now basically what happens next that uh, the author asked him to put everything back and he requested him to let's go for the bicycle ride but what was the matter of the fact was that the man said that now everything is out now let's correct your machine and uh, he talked as though it had dropped out by accident he and he was talking as if this all has come out by accident if he would not have uh, you know Uh, shook the bicycle that badly then nothing would have moved out of the place so that's what the author is saying that the man is talking as if it all if uh, this all has come by accident and before he could stop him he had unscrewed something somewhere unscrewed means taking out something uh, somewhere and put it somewhere else and he had roll all over the path some dozens or so little balls here those little balls are screws and he's saying them catch them catch them he shouting oh catch all the screws you know the screws are very small and if even one tends to get lost somewhere then it's very difficult to fix something so that's what he's saying here that catch them catch them all and uh, they all were uh, finding the screws here and there and finally they found 16 okay moving next he then said that while he was about it he would see to the chain for me and at once began taking off the care case i did try to dissuade him from that i told him what an experienced friend of mine once said to me solemnly if anything goes wrong with you you with your care case sell the machine and buy a new one it comes cheaper he said people talk like that who understand nothing about machines nothing is easier than taking off a gear case i had to confess he was right in less than 5 minutes he had the gear case in two pieces lying on the path and was groveling for screws he said it was always a mystery to him the way screws disappeared common sense 
continued to whisper to me stop him before he does any more mischief you have a right to protect your own property from the ravages of a lunatic so now basically when he had taken off or you can say taken out the tire and when he was actually dismantling the entire machine then further the man continued dismantling the machine he said that uh, he would take off the gear case you few people know what the gear case in the bicycle is and he tried to dissuade him from that dissuade him mean he tries to the uh, refuse him to do that because he was not in a favor that the man will take out the gear case because he was looking that what condition he had done of his bicycle and he said him that one of my experienced friend told me that you should never take out the gear case of the bicycle and if the gear case goes wrong then you should you should sell the machine okay and buy a new one it comes cheaper so the man said that people talk like this way who don't understand anything about machine and he said nothing is easier than taking off a gear case and before he had confessed that he had taken less than 5 minutes to take out the gear case and it was in two pieces as he had taken it out and it was lying on the path and all the screws were moving here and there they were all running groveling for screws they were looking and they were catching each and every screw and the man said it is always a mystery for him that how all the screws get disappeared and uh, the author continuously the author's mind was telling him that you should stop this man from dismantling your cycle your bicycle your machine but and the mind was continuously telling him to stop him to stop him but where the author's mind was he himself doesn't know he saying here common sense continue to whisper to me stop him before he does any more mischief you have a right to protect your own property from the ravages of a lunatic ravages is damages of a lunatic is a new learner okay or from a mad person you can say so continuously his mind was telling him that you have the right to protect your property from the damages that a mad person is doing to, to your machine right so moving next he said it was always a mystery to him the way screws disappeared common sense continued to whisper to me stop him before he does any more mischief you have a right to protect your own property from the ravages of a lunatic take him by the scuff of the neck and kick him out of the gate but i am weak when it comes to hurting other people's feelings and i let him muddle on he gave up looking for the rest of the screws he said screws had a knack of turning up when you least expected them and that now he would see to the chain he tightened it till it would not move next he loosened it until it was twice as loose as it was before then he said we had better think about getting the front wheel back into its place again i held the fork open and he worried with the wheel at the end of 10 minutes i suggested he should hold the fork and that i should handle the wheel and we changed places so now basically next what happens his mind was continuously telling him to stop uh, the bicycle from the damages of a mad person and later on what happened that uh, take him by the scuff of the neck his mind was telling him continuously to pull him from the neck and kick him out of the gate okay his mind was continuously telling him that but his he was not able to do that because it said here but i am weak when it comes to hurt uh, hurting people's feeling so he couldn't do it but his mind was continuously telling him to pick uh, to scuff him from to catch him from the neck and throw him kicking uh, kick him out of the gate okay then he gave up and uh, he was looking for the rest of the screws when uh, he gave up all those thoughts which were coming to his mind 
and he started again collecting all the screws which he was doing earlier and he said screws had a knack of turning up when you least expected them so basically the word knack here means that the screws have an habit of getting all scattered here and there when you least expect them and that now he would see to the chain and he's saying here that now he is going to look for the chain that how is the chain is it working properly or not then he had tightened it and it was not moving then it was so much tightened that he had to lose it and when he started losing it it was so loose it was twice as loose as it was before so can you imagine what condition or what was the condition of the bicycle that time and then he further said we had better think about getting the front wheel back into its place again so now he's again putting the front uh, part of the bicycle front wheel of the bicycle so i held the fork open fork is the handle of the bicycle so he's saying that i held the fork open and he worried with the wheel and he started putting the wheel at the end of 10 minutes i suggested he should hold the fork and after 10 minutes he suggested that he should hold the fork the handle of the bicycle and then i should handle the wheel and we changed places so now they had changed the places one was holding the handle and the other was putting the front wheel then they changed the position then the same they did vice versa moving next at length we did get the thing into position so after some time they got the thing into position and the moment was in the position he burst out laughing so he started laughing as soon as everything was in place i said what's the joke he said well i am an ass it was the first thing he said that made me respect him i asked him what had led him to the discovery he said we have forgotten the balls i looked for my hat it was lying topsy turvy in the middle of the park he was of a cheerful disposition he said well we must put back all we can find and trust to providence we found 11 we fixed 6 on one side and 5 on the other and half an hour later the wheel was in its place again it need hardly be added that it really did wobble now a child might have noticed it he said it would do for the present i said watching you do this is of real use to me it is not only your skill that fascinates me it is your cheery confidence in yourself your inexplicable hopefulness that does me good so now basically what happens next that he calls himself uh, he in joke he said that i am an ass that's an animal so he refers himself in, as an animal so the author is saying finally you said something that i agree on and then later on what happened they started putting the things back into place and then they had forgotten to put all the screws back the balls back and then he had a look at his hat it was lying topsy turvy means it was lying upside down in the middle of the path and it was of a cheerful disposition means everything was scattered here and there they couldn't find any of those screws there so now they were saying that whatever we have found we'll fix them with the screws that we have so they put six on one side and five on the other and half an hour later the wheel was in its place again so finally by putting six on one side and five on the other they were able to put the wheel back in its place and then further what happened that they said he said it would do for the present and then he said that uh, this time with these much of screws and uh, five on one side and six on one side it will do right now and he said watching you do this of real use to me it is not your o skill that fascinates me so he's saying that i think you are doing this for the very first time and your skill doesn't fascinates me okay and it was he was saying it's your cheery confidence in yourself he's saying you're just getting uh, cheery means this is your overconfidence that you are thinking 
and that does me good so moving next let's see what happened thus encouraged he set to work to refix the gear case he stood the bicycle against the house and worked from the off side then he stood it against a tree and worked from the on side then i held it for him while he lay on the ground with his head between the wheels and worked at if at it from below and dropped oil upon himself then he took it away from me and double him self across it till <coughs> he lost his balance and slid over onto his head then he lost his temper and tried bullying the thing the bicycle i was glad to see showed spirit and the subsequent proceedings de degenerated into little else than a rough and tumble fight between him and the machine one moment the bicycle would be on the gravel path and he on top of it the next the position would be reversed he on the gravel path the bicycle on him so now what happened next they started refixing the gear case he stood the bicycle against the house he made the uh, cycle stand and worked from the off side then he stood it against a tree he took the support of the tree and then again he made the bicycle stand then i held it for him he hold the, he had held the bicycle for the man to fix the wheel or the tire you can say what happened he was continuously only changing his position sometimes he used to put the cycle on him you a few people can imagine the scene sometimes you must have seen the mechanics they go below the car and then they do the oiling and everything so here also what uh, the man was doing he was sometimes putting the bicycle on him one moment the bicycle would be on the gravel path and he on top of it he was there on top of the bicycle next the position would be reversed he on the gravel path the bicycle on him so he had completely messed up with the bicycle next further now he would be standing flushed with victory the bicycle firmly fixed between his leg but his triumph would be short lived triumph means his victory that oh i have fixed the entire bicycle would be short lived by a sudden quick movement it would free itself and turning upon him hit him sharply over the head with one of its handles at a quarter to one dirty and disheveled cut and bleeding he said i think that will do and rose and wiped his brow the bicycle looked as if it also had enough of it which had received most punishment it would have been difficult to say i took him into the back kitchen where so far as was possible he cleaned himself then i sent him home so now further what happened he was standing there with victory oh wow i wow i fixed the bicycle i fixed the bicycle but his triumph was very short lived his victory was very short lived because as soon as he was celebrating his victory what happened the bicycle fell down means it fell to the ground hurting him hitting him sharply over the head with one of its handles okay at a quarter to one dirty and disheveled he was all dirty disheveled all the cut was there disheveled means all everything here and there messed up cut and his bleeding so there were cuts there was bleeding and he said i think that will do and rose and wiped his brow he just stood up and wiped his brow and the bicycle looked as if it had a lot enough of it means the bicycle was good enough but again just to show that he is a good person or he is a good mechanic or he knew well about the machine he had just messed up with the bicycle and that's what the author is saying here the bicycle looked as if it also had enough of it which had received most punishment it would have been difficult to say i took him into the back kitchen where so far 
as was possible he cleaned himself and he the author took him at the back of the kitchen where he had wiped himself cleaned all the dust and which all was there in his clothes and uh, all the marks and everything the cut marks the blood which was oozing out so everything he had just cleaned himself and further then the author had sent him home so here the bicycle was completely broken the bicycle was fine in the morning it was ready to go for a good bicycle ride but it had the worst afternoon that day so that's all about the story i hope the story is very clear to everyone a bicycle in good repair the bicycle which was very good did not the bicycle did not need any repair but although it had to face so much that very afternoon so i hope it's clear to everyone so i'll quickly move to the summary of the lesson that will make the lesson more clear to you all okay so moving to the next slide one of the friend of the author suggested that the two should go for a bicycle ride the next day the author reached the place half an hour before his friend and was waiting for him in the garden the author's friend inquired about his bicycle and then gave it a shake holding its front wheel and the fork after a while the man took out the front wheel of the cycle while the author was away for a while looking for a hammer okay so you people know that after the man had went to get the hammer and everything what happened with the bicycle next point the bicycle inspection and its repair work the author insisted on putting on the various parts of cycle in place but his friend wanted to check the front wheel he unscrewed something and from somewhere around a dozen of ball bearings came out his friend insisted that the author must collect all of them else the bicycle might not be restored to resorted to its old condition the author collected around 16 of them and kept them in his hat the author's friend now started taking off the gear case the author warned him not to mess up with the gear case but his friends but his friend said that nothing is as easier as taking off the gear case he took it off easily but had a nightmare while fixing it back to its place moving to the next point <clears throat> his bicycle which was until now in good condition was now lying scattered divided in many parts author wanted to stop his friend from causing further troubles but he admits that he is weak at hurting others then it was the time for the chain which he tightened to an extent that it stopped moving he then loosened it until it became twice as loose as it was before last one hard work to collect the parts after applying his tricks on the cycle author's friend seemed to be contented and now wanted to put all the pieces back into their place it took a lot of time and a great effort the process revealed that his friend was inexperienced and knew nothing about repairing a bicycle after struggling for many hours his friend was able to somehow fix the 
different parts of the bicycle the author took him to his back kitchen where his friend cleaned himself and then the author sent him back to his home the next new word and the meaning overhaul take part take apart in order to examine next is stiffly in a manner that is not relaxed or friendly next violently using physical force intended to hurt wobble move or cause to move unsteadily twiddling twist or turn bearing a person's way of standing or moving moving next word cheaper low in price confess declare groveling in order to obtain forgiveness or favor next ravages cause severe and extensive damage to lunatic a person who is mentally ill mad person scuff of the neck back of a person's or animal's neck next word knack an acquired or natural skill at doing something fascinates attract the strong attention and interest of someone subsequent proceedings coming after something in time following okay next disheveled untidy disorder next is class work we are going to discuss these uh, question answers in the class in the online class so answer the following question followed by the first question why was the author happy next question how did the man react after seeing the bicycle how did he react it third one what was unusual and annoying about the man's behavior next question which was the toughest part of the bicycle that the author's friend found the toughest to fix clear so please be prepared with these answers we'll be discussing them in the online class moving to homework answer the following questions question number 1 did the front wheel really wobble really move wobble means move what is your opinion give a reason for your answer question number 2 in what condition did the author find the bicycle when he returned from the tool shed when he went to take the hammer so that's the tool shed question number 3 nothing is easier than taking off the gear case comment on or continue the sentence in the light of what actually happens question number 4 what special treatment did the chain receive so you have to write the special treatment that the chain got question number 5 the friend has two qualities he knows that he is doing and is absolutely sure it is good find the two phrases in the text which mean the same question number 6 describe the fight between the man and the machine find the relevant sentences in the text and write them so that's the homework you have to do the homework i hope you people have understood the story it's very easy if you have any doubt we can take them in the online class please be ready with your doubts with your textbook and a pencil in your hand so that you can ask your doubts and you can clarify all the problems that you have faced in this lesson thank you have a nice day take care